What's up, everybody? Jason for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. 1920. A brand new Upper Deck Trilogy Hockey 10 box inner case break picker teams number 5. Fresh case. And here you go. Stephen K with the Nux, last ball mojo. And again, fresh master case, guys. There's two inner cases of 10 boxes each. Let's see what we can get out of here. Alright, here you go. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. This would be the second half right here. We got more to talk about the Super Bowl matchup between has to be pretty close to choose between the Niners and the Chiefs. Alright. Open up two boxes at a time, guys. Check him out, what? All right, guys, good luck. Uh, yeah, Mixer's already in single digits, guys. So I think that'll be probably our last break of the night. Just because it may take us about like 40 45 minutes so looking at the break schedule after i get done to leave auto jerseys um should be done with 20 minutes so we're on 8 45 almost 9 50 that should pretty much be our last spot last break but again it just depends how quick we break the rest of it i just give myself some room just in case something else happens but I said, keep buying spots on the website, guys. Something to work. I think that'll be a nice way to end the night. The prison mixer. Alright, there are two boxes right here, guys. Good luck. Fair hate. John with the Yotes. Jimmy Olofsson to seven ninety nine. Blank. For Carl Grundstrom. Blake Lazat. Level two for my Kings. Yeah, he didn't have himself a good World Juniors. Bob Roll. A nice Philip Zadina. 249. Level 1. For the Red Wings. Who has the Red Wings in this break? Oh, you got him, Chewy. There you go, man. Keller, Quinn Hughes, and you got a relic there of Bruins. Simon 
399 still none and then we got Wallstrom 999 our next box both quests to 499 relic there for the devils and see how much you can save Cody Glass, Zadina, to $7.99. Stillman, to $7.99. Nathan Bastian, and Ryan Pauling, level 1, to $3.99, rookie from your autographs. Canadians, going to John. Two good rookies right there. Sorella. Jack Hughes at 399. Zadina and wow. What a box. That's a nice one. Nico Heischer. Dobson to 999. Alright. Let's go to the next two boxes. All right, next box. Abrama, Max Jones, rookie renditions relic. Felipe Meyer. And we got Max Jones, level two auto for the Ducks. That's Fred with that one. Ooh, the cord. Rookie renditions auto. Huh? For what? Oh, well, yeah, what do you say? Wait, you'd have to come with your mom. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Brownstrom. Yeah, I, I think it's a 
Sandy to 299. Go good, fool. Cal How do you say it? I like saying Cal Maker. Call him what I want. <laughs> Bulger to 499. Alright, next box. Fabro. Jack Hughes. Kirby Doc. Dotch. Doc. Hawks. Belsers. Gusev. Thanks. Loza. Felipe Myers. We got autograph pucks of Henrik Borkstrom. For the Florida Panthers. Millions of Americans can have access to 5G points. Where's Florida? Paul Harris does. This there you go. Just the beginning. Yeah, the low numbered pucks are pretty rare, but they're awesome, man. No, they're not real pucks, John. These these are little pucks. <laughs> they're uh, they're just little, probably like manufactured ones. A real puck would probably be like I don't know, way bigger than this. Probably be the size of the thing. But yeah, they're just I think they're little manufactured ones. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. The numbered, low numbered ones are pretty, are pretty cool. They're rare. I got a three and stuff like that. They'll have like the team logo. The ones that would be like autographed that are not, that are uh, the that would be like game used are like ones that they put in the SP game used. They'll they'll uh they'll put pieces of of game used pucks in those. And you'll notice it right away. Like this isn't this isn't rubber. This is something else. Kind of just to resemble a pug. But in um, SP Game News, that'll come out I think next week. It's supposed to come out this Wednesday, but I guess it's coming out next week. But those ones have real pucks in them. Those are pretty nice. Joe Pizzle, what up, brother? Yeah, those ones. Yeah, those are the ones I'm talking about. So yeah, SP Gamers is pretty fun because for the Winter Classic and all those like outdoor stadium series games, they'll give you those autographed pucks, like pieces of the puck, and they'll also give you like net cords, which are pretty awesome. Net cords are, those are pretty awesome, right? Like think about it, you get a piece of the net from the stadium series. So yeah, SP Gamers should be fun this year. I've always liked that one. How many days now? What do you mean, Joe Pizzle? How many days now? Yeah, they have net cords from All Star Games. They have net cords from Stadium Series, Winter Classics, whatever net cords they they have in the checklist. I don't know if the checklist is already out, but oh, I'm not too sure. It's gonna be sometime in February though. February is a little packed for me too already. Dang. Going to Dallas the first week after the Super Bowl. Um, going to Vegas on the 21st weekend. Got to squeeze it in one of those weekends. Yeah, 
Yeah, John, I'll try to put one of those. I can put one of those. Matthew Barzell relic. Polling to seven ninety nine. Brahma. So this will be the eleventh the most Super Bowl in Miami. Baron Hayden. What a team we should have. Forty Niners, Chiefs first, the Patriots and Pittsburgh with six. The Niners win, they would win six. Patrick Mahomes if the Ooh, this one must be a big hit, guys, because the fact that we haven't even hit an autograph yet. Hold up, hold up. What's in here, guys? Alright, let's see what's hiding in here. Oh no. It's just an auto. Oh, it's a dual autograph puck. Well, not a huge hit, but hey. From LA Kings. Andre Kolbatar and Tyler Toffoli. Dual autograph puck. LA Kings, though. That's going to Eric. I don't have any more 180s here. There you go. Who are those guys? Those are two time Stanley Cup champions, Noah. That's who they are. And Kopitar is definitely one of the best all around in the league still. Two ways. Two way players. Toffoli, huh? <laughs> I don't know. He, he, Toffoli might be traded. <laughs> uh, Ilya. You know who's a bum, Logan? You don't even bring it down right now. I'll say his name. <laughs> you know, we both beat each other in the Stanley Cup uh, Western Conference Finals, so we're actually pretty even. We're actually pretty even. That one year you guys beat the Bruins, the Kings weren't even part of that one. <laughs> That's right, Joe Pizzo. I'll call him a bum right now. I don't care. He only won one, one Super Bowl? Overrated. Overrated. Wallstrom. Alright, and Ryan Zing Zingle. Zingel. I think they wrote 808. Trayer. Oh man, what's up with them? All right. Suzuki to 4.99. They pretty much played one dimensional this year or this game. So if you couldn't take away the run, they weren't gonna pass. <laughs> All right. Four more boxes. You know what's so you know what's so crazy about that? No, I mean look, Aaron Rodgers is great, man. I'm not gonna lie, but I I do think he's a little overrated, though, man. I think I think he doesn't win most of the big games uh, when it comes down to it. And honestly, guys, Logan, try to agree with me, man. You, you know he's a crybaby sometimes. Come on, you know what I mean? But. That is true, actually. It's kind of funny that he always says, I'm going to make the Niners regret not drafting me. But yet, can't beat the Niners in the playoffs, right? <laughs> you know, or something like that. Like, it's just, don't say that if you're not going to beat them. Stephen K, I'm hoping they're in his last four boxes. Haven't seen a big rookie autograph yet, besides maybe uh, 
Zadina pulling, but maybe we can get a Hughes in there. <laughs> I know, Richard. <laughs> But that's the thing. We can't say that. I mean, we can say that about the Packers and give them a pass. But what about honestly, like Tom Brady making these receivers out of nothing? You know, a lot of other, a lot of other players, quarterbacks have like receivers like that. You know, some nobodies. I mean, hell, the Eagles even had a receiver for like three weeks at one point. We only had one. But I think it's also the Packers just kind of wasting uh, Rodgers. Capo Caco! You know? It's like Payne Manning at least went to the Super Bowl like, what, four times? Even though he's only won two and lost two? And nice. We got a Cody Glass. That's a level two. And it's numbered to 99. Vegas going to Philip. Vulture. You you a Bears fan, right, Chewy? I would assume. Everything Chicago, right? Lingren. And a nice patch. Look at that. Out of 49. Kirby Datch. Doc. Datch. That's nice. But, yeah, I mean, we can say that about Marino, but Rogers has only been there once. As well, too. You know? Ooh, what is this? Wow, we got a level three autograph. That's Carl Grundstrom. You know what, Chewie? I think Mitch, yeah, he's uh, had a... They didn't have himself a good year, but I don't think the Bears in general had himself a good year. I mean, from having a playoff year the year before, you know? I think they'll be okay though, man. I honestly do. Elia to one seven ninety nine. Suzuki. Great in point. Hyros. <laughs> One of these decades. <laughs> Max Jones to seven ninety nine. <laughs> Yeah, the Lions are going to get you, man. You know, Rodgers may, may not be playing anymore, but they're going to get him. People take amazing photos of things every day. Like grapefruits. And because they're so good at photos, they're also really good at I know. Where's Barry Sanders Jr.? He chose Stanford Oklahoma, over Oklahoma State. I don't know if that was a good decision. I mean, at least not football-wise. I mean, maybe, maybe he went to Stanford... More for this, more for his academics than football, but all right, last two boxes. Um, I don't know, Aaron. It should be coming up anytime soon. They said at the end of January, early February. So I don't know. Are you, are you watching, John? What's going on with that? Do you have any info to give us, or what's going on with that? I actually don't have any information. I haven't heard anything, but. 
I remember they were saying that. So I have no idea. No idea. John wants to keep it private until it happens, and we'll just have to wait on that. Bold cup prediction. I don't know, man. I think the Blues, like, like, uh, like, uh, Chewy said earlier, I think they're definitely the favorites. I don't know. I don't trust Car I don't trust Colorado. Colorado has always been good these last couple years. Um, but, you know, just, I feel like they choke too. Um, I don't know. There's, there's going to be a lot of new different, there's going to be a lot of teams that didn't make the playoffs this year in the Western Conference than last year. So, not a lot of them, but a couple different ones. And then the East, I have no idea who would represent over there. I think it's still a little too early. Let me tell you, maybe like, give me like a cup prediction like March. Because we're still only halfway through the season. All right, John saying more likely April. Well, there you go. You know, because there's still going to be teams that are going to make trades, right, at the trade deadline. So even by then, you know, we'll find we'll kind of find out. I don't know, Aaron. I think it's going to be a fun weekend to be there, though. I'll have to try to watch it somehow. I'll probably just watch it on my phone or something. They all be there that weekend in Vegas. All right. Docs. 499. Fabro. Wanted to KO Wilder. <laughs> he was at the UFC fight yesterday. So were a lot of other people too. Tom Brady was there. And we got for the Wild. Nico Sturm. I think uh, Don got the Wild. Or no, not, not in this one. Eric did. Farvey. There's no mega hits in this just yet, so I'm not saying that the second half's going to be loaded, but it could be very loaded, <laughs> you know? And again, there's some great cases, and sometimes there's not so good cases. I don't know. But I guess we won't find out until this last box is done with, and if we open up the second half. So, I guess we'll have to find out. Good luck, guys. Last box, Mojo. Poland. Oh, did he? Was that one million after all? I know he had stacks of twenties, but I don't know if it was like. If it was a million though. All right. Good luck. Cody Glass. See ya, man. Drive safe. We had a couple of Jack Hughes, I think, numbered cards, but none of Quinn as of yet. So, all right, this is a hit right here. Let's save that. Well, there's Quinn. It's a 9.99. Nux. And cool man. I'll squeeze in the second half of trilogy, guys, if we just sell it out tonight. If you guys want. After the mixer. And Sandine to 9.99. All right, guys. Well, depending on what this hit is, the second half could be extremely loaded. So good luck, everybody. Beside behind Jack is Michael Grunlin for the Predators auto puck or signature puck. Preds. Going Eric. There you go. There you guys go. 
Here's all the rookie inserts. Here's all the numbered cards. And relics, of course. Nice dash right there. Gakko, but I feel like the second half could be really loaded, guys. So, give it a shot, guys. I, I don't know. I'm not going to say this wasn't a strong inner, because I think it was, but... I think the second half can have some big hits, guys. Although we did get a Heesher, or Poling, and a Zadina, but... Let's get it going, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Appreciate it.